we will then use our Kali machine and Penligent AI to absolutely penetrate our Ubuntu machine. So it says the target is confirmed, which is 192.168.0.239. And it's come up with a pen testing strategy saying that phase one is the initial reconnaissance phase. I now get the database credentials extracted with all of the usernames and their passwords, along with what is the role of the Artificial intelligence and cybersecurity. In this video, we are going to be leveraging both of these domains to create our first AI-based cybersecurity home lab. So make sure you get your laptop and let's get started. Our main focus of this video is going to be the world's first agentic-based AI hacker called as Penligent AI. This AI-powered penetration testing tool will smartly find vulnerabilities, create attack paths, as well as use adaptive intelligence to then come up with new strategies. It is super fast, super quick, and I'm so excited to build this hands-on lab with Penligent. Diving straight in, let's look at the lab architecture. In this lab, we are going to be using two virtual machines. One is a Kali Linux machine and the other one is an Ubuntu machine. So the Kali Linux machine is going to be our attacker and our Ubuntu VM is going to be our victim machine. On the Kali Linux machine, we have Penligent AI, which we will be downloading and setting up. And on the Ubuntu, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be setting up and running something called as DVWA also known as Damn Vulnerable Web Application. So we have the DVWA, which is set up on our Kali Linux machine. And using Penligent, we'll try and perform AI-based penetration testing activities on our Ubuntu machine. The reason why this is possible is that I've used a script to install DVWA, first of all. And secondly, both these devices are on the same network. In this case, I'm using a bridged network adapter. However, if you like, you can also put both of these behind a PFSense firewall. I've got a separate video on how to set that up behind a PFSense firewall. So you can check that video out in order to get that understanding. So once both of these machines are able to communicate and ping each other, we will then use our Kali machine and Penligent AI to absolutely penetrate our Ubuntu machine. All right. So to start off, I've got my Kali Linux machine and my Ubuntu VM right here. Let's quickly look at the networking settings for these. So the Kali Linux machine is on a bridged adapter and the Ubuntu machine is also on a bridged adapter. So as a result of this, they're both able to communicate with each other. So let's quickly go and power on our Kali Linux machine and the Ubuntu machine first. While those machines are powering up, I've got a script that I'll be using for this lab and I'll provide that to you in the description of this video as well. So please check it out. You can download it and attempt this at your own time. All right, so quickly let's log into the Kali Linux machine. And while we're here, we're going to run our Penligent AI. Now the setup is pretty simple. I've already done it, but it's very easy for you to do. So in order to set up Penligent, you just go to your browser. And uh, once you're in there, just type penligent.ai. And once you're there, you can have a look at the website. You can see what are the different things that they offer. Uh, you can look at the pricing as well. So if you want to like perform this lab, you can do it for free. But then if you want to get the pro license, that costs you around $18 per month. Um, and when you want to download the Penligent AI agent, all you do is you just go on quick start right here. And once you do that, it will start the download. The setup for Penligent is also pretty straightforward because if you go to docs and here you'll find the resources. So once you download the package, you just open a CLI window and you type and run this command. Once you do that, your Penligent AI is set up and you don't need to do anything more than that. So let's quickly verify. As I said, I already ran this and set it up because it was pretty simple. So it should show up in your applications like this. So let's quickly open that up and see what the GUI for Penligent looks like. So once you open the application, this is what it looks like. It's got um, a chat history. It's got task overviews. On the right-hand side, it's got status, results, a lot of text, which looks super cool. So what we'll do is let's create a new task. In order to create a new task, you just go to the top left corner, click on task, go to new task, and let's give a task name. So let's call this one DVWA pen testing, and let's create that. And this is what the dashboard looks like once you create a new task. All right, so we've got Penligent running. What we'll now do is let's go and look at what we need to set up on our Ubuntu machine. On the Ubuntu machine, let's quickly log in as well. And once you're in there, you've got to install and run DVWA. Now for this as well, because I don't want this video to be too long, I've got a script, which is going to be in the description box. So check that out. 
there are about three or four commands that runs and installs DVWA on your Ubuntu machine. It's pretty straightforward and very easy. What we'll now do is let's quickly check the IP address of the Ubuntu machine. So in order to do that, you just go to a terminal window. So you go to terminal and when you're there, you just go IPF config and the IP address that we need to work with is 192.168.0.239. Let's quickly check the IP address on the Kali Linux machine as well and note that down too. So on the Penlogen dashboard, you also have a CLI at the bottom. So we can just run commands there as well. So let's quickly run ifconfig and this one's 192.168.0.206. So as you can see, they're on the same subnet, which is the 192.168.0.0 slash 24 subnet. All right, so let's go back to our Ubuntu VM. And what I want to do is because I've already installed and run DVWA, what that has done is it's also set up a database, which is a MariaDB database. The reason for that is it creates all of these users so that we can then try and hack the application and get all of that user information. So to do that, just go sudo MariaDB and let's put our sudo password and let's quickly check what databases are currently running here. So that command is show databases. So we see DVWA is one of the database. And as I said, all of this is set up as part of that installation script. So you can run that and you'll exactly have all of this stuff that I'm seeing on the screen right now. So let's go use DVWA. So what this command does is, is that it changes the database to DVWA. Now, while we're in the DVW database, I want to see what are the different tables here. So we just go show tables and you see you've got access log, guest book, security log and users. So let's go select star from users. And this shows you all of the different users and their passwords. All right, so let's exit this. Now I quickly want to check if my services are running or no. So sudo system CTL status apache2.service. And this says it's active and running. So our Apache server should be running, which I've already configured and set up. So let's quickly open a Firefox window and check if our DVWA application is loading or no. And we'll quickly log in using the credentials admin and password. And once we're in, we'll go to the DVWA security tab right at the bottom and let's change it from impossible to low. So there are different levels based on how you want to pen test this. We just set it on low for now, hit submit, and uh, let's head back to our Penligent AI because that's where we're going to be doing all of the fun stuff. And as I said at the beginning of this video as well, it's the world's first agentic hacker. So we're going to have a lot of fun with it. And the way you interact with this is literally how you speak to chat GPT. So you've got this prompt window right here. So it says input target information such as example.com and then press enter to send. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type something in here saying I have a host that I want to hack and let's give the IP address. IP address is 192.168.0.239. And let's hit enter. So once we do that, the Penlogen AI is now going to start thinking in the background. And while it's doing whatever it's doing, it's also going to be putting it on the dashboard. So it says the target is confirmed, which is 192.168.0.239. And it's come up with a pen testing strategy saying that phase one is the initial reconnaissance phase where it's going to be doing port discovery, service enumeration, OS fingerprinting and vulnerability assessment. And what it has then done is provided me with a list of commands right here. So it's using nmap and it's using ping to perform reconnaissance and see what are the different services that are running on our target machine. That's already great because it's given us the list of commands, which usually you would need to remember by heart. And sometimes it can get pretty difficult, especially with nmap commands with all of the flags and stuff. This is great because you've visually got it in front of you and you can also execute it with one click. A quick disclaimer though, is that when you're using these type of tools that literally reduces your effort, it's very important that you already know what these commands are doing. So if you have no idea about that, I would highly recommend you first go and understand the basics of cybersecurity and pen testing, because then it makes more sense. So with this case now, what I'm going to be doing is, uh, let's quickly check what are the different nmap commands it's going to run. So the first one is a full port range scan. The second one is the top 100 ports. The third one is a vulnerability scan. And then finally, we have a ping scan as well to check connectivity. So 
what we'll do is let's just execute all four. Actually, I don't want to run the first command because I know that could take some time. So I'll just uncheck that and let's execute the selected commands only. So it should be running three commands in the background now. All right. And while these commands are running, you have this tab on the right hand side, which is literally showing you the output on like a small CLI window, which is perfect because you're not just sitting there hoping that something executes in the back end. You can literally see what is happening right in front of your eyes. And immediately after the tests were run, as you can see on the screen, it says that the analysis is now complete. And the server that is running is an Apache 2.4.58 Ubuntu machine server. And the application that is running is a DVWA, also called as Damn Vulnerable Web Application. And it says it's got an exposed Git repository, severity critical. It's then got directory listing enabled on sensitive parts with high severity. Uh, DVWA installation, intentionally vulnerable application, severity critical. And it then gives you the recommended next steps for the advanced exploitation phase. And as part of phase two, it's also giving us some recommended next steps, which is for the deep enumeration and exploitation phase, stating that um, it will perform enumeration of sensitive directories, attempt authentication with default credentials, as well as perform a TCP port scan once again and test SQL injection vulnerabilities. Now, while this has already provided us with a list of commands that we can run, what I'm going to do is I am straight away going to hit the nail on the head and I want to exploit an SQL injection vulnerability. So I'm just going to quickly type in here. Can we perform an SQL injection attack on this host and retrieve um, users and their details? Let's hit enter and let's see what exactly or how fast does Penlegent now use this information and bring us a list of the users and their passwords. So straight away, it's come up with an attack plan, which involves the SQL injection attack vectors. And it's also provided us with the default DVWA credentials, which is admin and password. And below, if you scroll further, it's got a list of curl and SQL map commands, which it's then going to execute. And it will help us find all of that information that we've requested it to find. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on execute selected tools and let's wait for these commands to execute and we see what exactly do we get out of it. And once again, it's come up with an attack plan where it's going to be performing an authenticated SQL injection attack. So once again, I'm just going to execute all of these commands and let's see if it can bring us the users table and each of those users and their passwords. And finally, once the command is executed, I now get the database credentials extracted with all of the usernames and their passwords along with what is the role of the account. So we've got the admin username and password, which is an administrator account. And similarly, all of the other users are the standard users, which is perfect. This is exactly what we wanted to achieve. And using penlegend.ai, we were able to penetrate our target DVWA application and successfully perform an SQL injection attack. Now let's quickly verify. So what we'll do is Let's open our Firefox window and try logging in with one of these credentials. So let's use Pablo and let me in as the username and password. So let's open a Firefox window and 192.168.0.239. Enter. And uh, let's try the username. So Pablo and let me in. Perfect. So using the credentials that we were able to extract from our Penlegent penetration testing tool, we were now able to successfully log in to the DVWA application. And just like that, you can also try different strategies. You can try different commands. You can try and leverage different types of attacks using Penlegent. There are a lot of options. You can also integrate other tools. So it's absolutely amazing. You can go and give it a check. And with Penligent, what you can also do is you can generate a report. So you just type in saying that generate a report for me and it will literally create a penetration testing report based on whatever commands you executed, the attack strategies, what are the different things Penligent did, what are the prompts you asked it to do, each and everything in a comprehensive report right at the end. So you can have a look at this right now on the screen. You can also save this report and you can always refer to it later on. So it's great because... You've got all of this stuff well documented. And look, as I said, if you're in cybersecurity, it's first very important that you already know what exactly is going on. So having that prior knowledge 
then helps you to leverage these type of tools better. So that was all for this home lab using penligent.ai. I'd highly recommend you to try this lab on your own. It's very simple, but the learnings that you can get out of it are immense. If you found this video helpful, I'd highly recommend you to also check my previous lab videos in a home lab playlist that I've created on this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.